Hi there, thanks for joining me. My name is Tibor and this is my Overwatch Defence Characters series. Uh, we're going to start with Bastion. One thing I should like to point out before we get started actually, pretty much any character that's in the Defence uh, category, just by the sheer fact that you're playing this character, pretty much means you're guaranteed to get a player of the game. So let's carry on with that, shall we? So let's go with Bastion first. Most people are going to know the name Bastion anyway, I should think by now, by various memes and other uh, little videos and things that people have put out. So this character is basically a uh, mobile turret in that it can move around to wherever it wants and then you can hit the shift key and drop into a turret mode where you can uh, output a large number of uh, shots in a very short period of time. Let's just pop up the skills. So we just talked about the left shift, so that's reconfigure. So that switches between the mobile mode that we're in at the moment and the turreted mode. We also have a self-repair ability on E, which we'll show a little bit later. And um, it talks about here on the right-hand side the sentry and recon configurations. So in recon you have this rifle, or machine gun, or whatever you want to call it. And then in the actual sentry mode, He's, there we go, we've got him even though he's hidden around that corner. And that is it. That is as simple as you can get with uh, with Bastion, really. There's nothing too complicated about him at all. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to think of anything else to say. I can't really. Um, let's take some damage. Shoot me. Okay, so now I've got some damage. This is where the E ability comes in, which gives you your self-repair. So press and hold that, and you very, very quickly repair. You can actually repair for quite a lot of damage um, very, very quickly. Let's uh, kind of stand over here and get shot a bit by these guys. So just keep on taking a bit more damage. There we go. Right, so this um, this heal ability, we've well, just used it is, uh, in the mobile mode, so let's drop it to sentry. And we can repair as well now, like this. And as you can see, it's very, very quick. Now, you can't repair and fire at the same time. So you can only do one or the other, so you're a bit vulnerable whilst you're repairing, but you do repair very, very quickly. And the last trick that this, uh, this robot has up his sleeve is the... Uh, tank mode. By pressing the ultimate key, get into tank mode, which does stacks and stacks of damage, and also does AoE damage. And that is it, really. Nothing um, nothing more I can say about Bastion. Um, lots of tactics that you can use with him. You can um, plant him down uh, on the payload, which is one good tactic. So on payload maps, you just literally you deploy on top of the payload. As the payload moves, you're moving as well. And uh, that gives you the the flexibility of being able to... Flexibility of being able to move without all the problems of being stuck in a sentry mode. Um, I'm trying to think what characters to say that this, this Bastion character is good at. I mean... He's good at everybody. Um, I mean, you're going to be stuck in sentry mode, so the characters you're going to have to watch out for are people like um, Tracer, getting around behind you, as uh, to the rear of you when you're in a sentry mode, you have an additional uh, damage location where you can take additional um, you can take additional damage if somebody hits you, so it's like an additional critical hit location. Um, so Tracer can zip around and get behind you easily. Anyone that can do that uh, is going to be a problem for you. Um, junk rat is also going to be a problem because he's not necessarily going to be in your line of sight so he could pop um, any number of shots over at you and, and hit you because you're a static target which does make you another easy target for a lot of other people as well but generally speaking if uh, someone can see you to shoot you you can see them to shoot them which is obviously the uh, the important thing to do um, your damage is quite good when you're mobile, 
your damage is exceptional when you are the sentry. Um, so you're probably looking to see uh, you can melt through um, most tanks quite easily. You can also melt through Reinhardt's shield. So I think it's got a lot of uses. Um, a few drawbacks in the fact that you can't move around uh, when you're in sentry mode. But nothing that I could really uh, prattle on about for ages. So what we'll do is we'll just skip over into a game and we'll um, we'll see what Bastion can do in a, in a proper uh, combat situation. Okay, so here we are. We're in a random game with Bastion. Um, switching to turret mode and just shooting anything and everything because why the hell not? Now, one thing I forget to uh, mention is that when you switch modes, you can actually automatically reload whatever weapon you're using. So when you switch back to that mode, your weapon is fully uh, reloaded. Five, so we're just heading up to the, four, the capture point. Three, um, two, I'm trying to go off to the left one, here and uh, I want to try and get set up, but there's quite a few uh, enemies over here and we get kind of stuck the in here with Reinhardt. So I just plumped into sentry mode, fired off some random shots and got a couple of double kills straight away. It is that easy with uh, Bastion sometimes. Um, prepared myself using my repair ability and then just set, up, set myself up in the corner here, which is kind of where I was aiming for in the first place. Because now I can uh, try and pick up the enemy and then block them as they come in. So I get the idea there's a Hanzo over here to the left somewhere. Come on over, but he's already been taken out. I'll try to get back into position, drop back into sentry mode. Take out Lucio, Reinhardt coming around behind me, manages to take me out unfortunately, but now my ultimate is ready, which will come in handy shortly. That was quite a good takedown from Reinhardt there, so um, probably should have concentrated less on the than uh, so I said take my frustrations out on the basketball. I'm far too far away for uh, Ultimate there from McCree. So we're going to plug ourselves down on the actual capture point and just sit and wait really now. It's so if somebody decides to shoot us with an arrow there, so we're just going to patch ourselves up because we can't actually see them. Just going to fire off randomly and then relocate because obviously they've got the advantage over us there. Almost died there from another hit, but uh, pack myself into the corner and heal up. I can see the person who's been shooting me, so I'm kind of trying to go and find them. There we go, Widowmaker. Quick kill and a little bit of a chortle there from Bastion. Now it's just a waiting game. We're at over 80% already, so might as well fire off shots and um, do as much damage as I can to ba uh, Reinhard's shield. He manages to sneak in behind me, which I knew that he was going to, but um, I just kind of, I don't know really, I just kind of uh, left him to it. I kind of hope that the rest of the team is going to take him out. So I'm still not going to go to that lot. We'll move on the way back to the capture point. Junk rats just randomly spamming grenades, that one crack does normally. And ultimate time! <laughs> Off to a bad start. Only one kill and then another one. Almost end up in the uh, the pit there thanks to Lucio. All in all that was a fairly terrible ultimate to be honest. There's only two kills. Oops, somebody sneaks around behind me then. No, jump rat. There we go. Jump rat's not going behind me. Kill me, but it didn't really matter because it made no difference to the game at that stage. What he should have done was got on the point and then tried to take me out. Damn it, May! I don't know if anything's been changed, but I can't seem to be able to punch the balls quite as hard as. Um, Used to be able to. Across the board, 
Nothing really interesting to say about this. Usual rush to get to a capture point. Need to find a good spot to set up. Not really a good point. I ignored Diva there in favour of looking for another target. Now we get set up on the corner here and we can really do some damage. Unfortunately, Reinhardt again sneaks around behind me and takes me out. I'm not having much luck with Reinhardt. I was junk rack up the kill there, but um, really, let's be honest, it was thrown up. So, wandering back to the spawn point, uh, spawn point, the capture point again. Our team's got the capture point. I'm going to set myself up in a corner somewhere. Don't want to give them too many clear lines of sight. Keep checking behind me and above because uh, you never know when someone's going to come in. The Not really getting any kills here, but just uh, popping off a few shots from the enemy away. Consider relocating at this point and uh, then actually go for it. Junk rat there has been causing me a bit of grief. Drop into central mode, take out Diva, and then get taken out by the rest of the team who are standing behind me. I have no idea there. From the looks of things, they probably came round the back way to try and get to me in the first place, but uh, I wasn't there, I was somewhere else where they could just see the for me anyway. But the enemy team have almost got the other uh, oh. Uh, yeah, the enemy team, <laughs> they almost got the um, capture point. If it hadn't been for the, uh, the guys on the team, I think we would have lost that. Shut down Reaper's ultimate a little bit too late there. Try a little back up a little bit here from Lucio, because we don't want him to uh, push me off the map and then the world of the team's ultimate. And here we go, ultimate. Let's see how many kills we can get this time. That's two. And only scored two again. But since it's now overtime, we're in control of the point. It's worth dropping into central mode. And we get the victory. Double. And Roadhog gets the plan.